Okay, so I'm starting off with skincare. This is the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. This is my absolute favorite. It is jam-packed with vitamin C, so it's really, really good for your skin. I'm just putting it all over my face. Um, I'm like so red. But then I'm using the Urban Decay B6 um, Prep Spray all over. Just trying to get rid of that. Then the Sephora um, Instant Deep Puffing Roll-On Gel. I'm also like really almost finished with this. Um, it's okay, but yeah, just gonna help get rid of any puffiness. Um, then next I'm going to take the Sephora Instant Moisturizer. This is a really nice everyday moisturizer. And I've been getting a little bit dry lately, so yeah, we're just gonna put that all over our face. Oh, drop the camera. Okay. Um, so now I'm taking my Kerez Lip Butter. This is the one in the pomegranate. I really like this. It's really moisturizing, and I've had really super dry lips lately. I don't know what's up with that, but this has been helping it a lot. Um, then I'm taking my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown, just brushing out my brows, and we're going to fill them in. My brows are like a complete mess right now. But basically what I do is I take a little bit, I outline the bottom of the brow, um, and then I brush any remaining product up with that brush, and then I fill in anything else that needs to be filled in. I love this stuff. It makes your eyebrows on flick. <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing again. I can kind of do a more in-depth brow tutorial if you guys would like that. Um... But this is just the kind of a uh, quick version of it and a really actually not my best version of it. So after I'm finished with that, I carve my brows out with concealer. The concealer I use to do that is the Hard Candy Glam Glamouflage, not Glamouflage, Glamouflage Concealer in the lightest shade. I think it is just called Light. But I only carve out the bottom because I don't like that halo brow effect. And I feel like it looks more natural if you only um, carve out the bottom. So I just take that and then I blend the concealer down onto my lid. And it looks a little crazy while I'm doing my shadow. But once my whole face is done, you can't tell. I just think it looks so clean and nice. And yeah. So next, what I'm going to do is take my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and set my brows. Got to keep them babies in place. Next, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Pop some of that on both your lids and blend it out with your finger. Um, I'm pretty sure I take it on the bottom too. I usually do. If not, I just forgot this time. But yeah, put on the bottom lash line as well. Taking the only MAC shadow I'm going to use, which is Soft Brown, pretty available. I'm taking on a Sigma E40 and I'm going to blend that in my upper crease as a transition shade. Also, sorry if you can hear this child screaming in the background. It will not shut up. So I'm just blending that out all over my upper crease. Did I say upper lash line? I meant to say upper crease. Blending that out until my arm falls off. <laughs> Now going into our um, Amrezy palette, I'm going to take the color Caramel on a MAC 217 and I'm going to put that right below Soft Brown just to create more of a depth in the crease area and I'm going to blend that and blend and blend and blend and I'm also popping it onto the outer corner as well to smoke it out a little bit. Just do the same thing on the other side. After that, I'm going to go back with the other brush, the E40, with nothing else on it, and I'm just going to blend it again. Taking the color Topaz from the Amrezy palette on a Sigma um, flat shader brush, I'm going to, I don't really usually do that with my finger, but I'm putting this all over the lid. It's such a pretty color. It doesn't look anything like it does on the pan when you put it on your eye, but it's really pretty. It's a really warm, golden sort of color. I don't, I guess, Topaz color? I don't know. Then I'm going to take caramel again on the outer corner and blend that out. 
I think I poked myself in the eye, but I'm taking just a tiny little brush and I'm going to use vanilla on the inner corner. So we're just highlighting that inner corner and just the top part of our brow bone with vanilla. Then I'm taking this Rimmel, um, I don't know, uh, eyeliner and just putting that on my waterline as well as the lower lash line and we're going to smudge this out after we've done our foundation and concealer. Taking my Makeup Forever HD Primer, I'm going to put that all over my face with a flat foundation brush from White Bee Brushes. I have been doing this this way for like the past week or so and I don't know why I just feel like I get a more even application that way so yeah I'm gonna roll with it. I love this primer I just feel like it doesn't last long. Then taking about four pumps of my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation in the color 3.2 I'm stippling that all over my face with my Beauty Blender cannot live without this foundation or beauty blender. And I'm just putting a small layer over the main parts of my face. Small layer, a thin layer over the main parts of my face. And then once I do that, I'm going to go back and see areas that might need a little more coverage. And I'm going to add only to the areas that need a bit more help. Also, putting it on the neck, don't forget that. So, because I have these disgusting dark circles, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Porcelain Peach. And I'm going to apply that with a brush and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Only putting that on the areas where I have darkness and blending it out. This stuff is amazing and works wonders. Turn that off. Okay. Now I'm using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper to do my wing. Sorry if this is a little cut off, and I'm sorry if you can hear people talking. I cannot find a quiet spot in my house. So I'm doing my wing and connecting the inner corner to the middle. And I had a really good wing day today. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been having good luck with them, but I had a really good wing day, so... Just perfecting it a little bit. I'll do also a more in-depth video on how I create my eyeliner. I am, again, sorry for the talking. I always have trouble with this eye. Oh my god, it's so annoying. The left wing never comes out as good as the other one. So I just use that tip to fill in the wing and drag it over. So, um, don't really know what I'm doing here, but next I am going to just kind of fix that wing with a little bit of that Glamouflage concealer and a concealer brush. Whenever I mess it up, that's what I do to make them even and clean. Now time to go smoke out the lower lash line. I'm using caramel again on a tiny little brush and smoking out that liner on the lower lash line. And I'm taking it all the way across to the inner corner. And next I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush with the color soft brown. And I'm going to just blend that shadow out with soft brown to create a more blended effect on the bottom. I'm going to just uh, clean that up again with my Beauty Blender, not adding anything. I'm going to set my foundation with the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder and a Morphe Brushes Powder Brush. Stop doing that! Okay, and then I'm going to take my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and just do a little bronzing of the face. Okay. So I'm just bronzing the face. Um... Maybe doing a little contouring, I didn't really 
contour, just bronzing. Taking it to the temples to add warmth and the jawline. And just blending it with the beauty blender. Then taking my Benefit blush in Rockador and a MAC 188, I'm putting that on my cheekbones. It's a pretty rose gold color. And then taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Um, is my favorite thing ever right now. I'm so glad I purchased it. I am going to take this um, Stila brush and put that on the high points of my cheek and a little bit on my temples to give a pretty glow. Also, go on the bridge of the nose and the Cupid's bow. Then I'm taking this Dior um, Lash Plumping Serum, which we got in gratis and I will be purchasing when I run out. This is just going to amp up our lashes and give us lots of volume and length. It's very good for your lashes too. And my new favorite mascara of the moment is the Buxom Lash Mascara. I am obsessed with this. I have a sample of it. I don't remember where I got the sample, but it's freaking amazing. Peep that mascara face, though. <laughs> the difference is, like, redonk, but you can't really tell because I have a shitty quality video. Okay, bananacurls.com. I am so out of frame, I'm sorry. But now I'm going to set everything with my all nighter from Urban Decay and lips. This is my lip choosing color face. I'm just blotting off my lip balm off camera. And so I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of cancel out any color to do the makeup forever technique of lining my lips. You line the cupid spell first to make sort of an X. Um, then I drag it out to the corners. You also cannot see this. Um, I didn't really overline my lips today. Just kind of kept them normal sized. <sighs> I am all about dark lips right now. I'm kind of shading in that liner too, just um, so it looks more blended when I put the lipstick on. So that's no, that's Black Cherry from Milani. Did I say Wet and Wild? I meant Milani. One of my favorite fall colors. It's so pretty. It kind of smells weird to me though. So uh, yeah. Here's better lighting for the finished look. I feel like I really need to figure out this whole, like, filming thing. Um, I still don't really have, like, a decent camera um, to film with, so I am working with what I have here to make videos, and I said I'd get back into it, so, um, yeah, this is me getting back into it, so, <sighs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like you can pair this look with kind of any lip I'm just in a really a fall mood so this is the one I chose so yeah I feel like I like should be wearing an infinity scarf and like boots but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one